It's one of Canada's most toxic legacies. Buried just outside Yellowknife lie over 230,000 tons of arsenic trioxide, a deadly byproduct from decades of gold mining at the giant mine. Now, what's the problem? This poisonous dust is stored underground, and as the permafrost melts, the risk of it leaking into surrounding water system grows. The Canadian government has frozen the chambers for now, but that's a temporary fix. What's the long-term solution? Well, one Canadian company believes it may have the answer. Dundee Sustainable Technologies has developed something called glass lock, a process that turns arsenic into a stable glass-like solid that's much safer to store. Well, joining us is Jean-Philippe May, President and CEO of Dundee Sustainable Technologies, to explain how this process works and what it could mean for the future of mine cleanups around the world. Jean-Philippe, thanks very much again for talking to us. Hello, Devin. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Now, for those who don't know, how serious is a uh, an arsenic problem like the one we've just cited? Yeah, no, I, I think is uh, it's definitely a serious issue because arsenic is is one of those contaminants that uh, is, is very soluble, is highly mobile. So uh, it, is, it is a serious issue and, and one that we've been seeing uh, uh, maybe growing or, or, or being more exposed in, in the recent years. And as you mentioned, the one that uh, the project in, in the nor Northern uh, Territories, it's one that we've been uh, involved for quite some time. Uh, the, the federal government, through uh, a technology assessment study back in 2016, uh, identified Glasslock as one of the best technology for the permanent and long-term remediation of the giant mine project. Mm. And it's a very interesting process, this Glasslock. In simple terms, how does it work? And what does it do to the arsenic? Yeah, so the, the objective behind Glasslock is, is and was always to... Uh, have a process which can permanently immobilize and stabilize uh, the arsenic into an insoluble uh, product. So essentially what we're doing at Dundee Technologies with Glasslock is we are uh, converting the arsenic, uh, which can come in multiple form, into an insoluble glass matrix. So we are not encapsulating arsenic within glass, we are incorporating the arsenic within the glass matrix, which provides it uh, its stability, uh, being an amorphous product and really uh, limiting the mobility of the of the product. I'm trying to sort of compare that to other approaches. How much more effective is the one you're looking at, Glasslock? Well, there's uh, uh, there, there's quite a, f a few different approaches to handling arsenic, and but none of them have really been focused on permanent and long term. Uh, stabilization and this is really what what we're providing here is a product which will no longer release arsenic into the into the environment and we know we all know glass in different forms but the great quality of glass it's it's is ability to uh, to be insoluble so providing uh, a glass which is uh, is made strict is 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 bound with with arsenic that provides it uh, a very reduced mobility so other approaches or what the industry has been doing uh, is able to temporarily stabilize the arsenic, but there's always that long-term mobility issue. And that's really what we're trying to solve here with Glasslock. I would imagine, Jean-Philippe, that this has been a process that's been tested along the timeline. Has it been tested on real arsenic? And how safe is the final product? in terms of long-term storage, because presumably that's the aim here, right? Yeah, no, of, of course. And, and yes, we have worked with a lot of different arsenic products. We even uh, constructed uh, an industrial demonstration plant back in 2018, which is on site an operating copper smelter. So the Glasslock plant there was specifically designed and purpose to handle arsenic trioxide generated by the, the copper smelting operation. So we have a lot of, of, of operational data and worked a lot with, with various different uh, arsenic uh, sources and arsenic product. And, and really the, the, the main characterization is, is 
is when we uh, submit the glass to the long-term environmental characterization, we're able to demonstrate that the glass will be stable in long periods of time, which is effectively the, the objective, because once you can demonstrate the stability of the product, then you can look at, at repurposing the glass. How do we reuse that glass product on site, either for geotechnical application uh, but the main objective here is to demonstrate the long-term stability of the arsenic glass. Now, beyond Giant Mine, the example I cited in my preamble, how big is the global market for this kind of technology? Are there other mines or, or countries facing the same challenge? Yeah, I, I think arsenic is, is definitely present in the industry globally. Uh, we have seen uh, arsenic and work on arsenic project uh, in Asia, in Africa, in South America, and in Canada. So I think it is really an industry-wide uh, problematic, which is sometimes well known, like like the the the, the Northwest Territory uh, project, but also sometimes a bit more uh, um, unknown. And as we are uh, have developed an expertise in working with arsenic. We are, are now being exposed to a lot more uh, projects which have arsenic issues that need either uh, remediation or also a big portion of how Glasslock is also being used is on existing and current operation uh, projects that are generating high arsenic concentrates where we're able to remove the arsenic and stabilize it before it goes to market or to uh, uh, smelting or, or processing uh, metal processing operations. So that allows to neutralize the, the problematic earlier on the project and hence pr provides both uh, operational efficiency and financial uh, upsides to, to properly handling the arsenic. Now, Jean-Philippe, before I let you go, I mean, from an investor point of view, how do you see Dundee's role growing in uh, the mining operations space? And could this technology become the new industry standard? Well, we, we, we sure hope so. And I think that Dundee is, is a novel metallurgical process provider. And what we do is we offer the industry the tools that they need to be uh, efficient, both from an operation and an economic standpoint. So, so definitely, I think there's, there's a lot of upsides to Glasslock. Uh, and we're seeing it because a lot of project developers that are serious about uh, properly handling both from an operation and an environmental standpoint, uh, their arsenic that is, is, it is a growing contaminant in the industry. So, so our role is definitely to be a tool and allow for, for project developers and operators to, uh, to, to properly and viably uh, handle the arsenic that is traveling within, the, within their ore bodies. Yeah, well, it certainly does sound compelling. Uh, Jean-Philippe, my president and CEO of Dundee Sustainable Technologies, once again, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure there.